Have you ever wondered how many rivers flow through the culturally rich state of Gujarat in India? These rivers are not just bodies of water, they are the lifeblood of the region, playing a crucial role in agriculture, industry and tourism. Among these rivers, Sabarmati, Namada, Tapi and Mahi stand out with their unique significance and contributions to the state's prosperity. These rivers have been the pulse of Gujarat, nurturing its lands and people for centuries. Now let's dive deeper into the details of these rivers. First, we'll explore the Sabamati River, an important waterway in Gujarat. This river stretches over 200 kilometers, originating from the Aravali Range and flowing through the vibrant cities of Gandhinagar and Ahmedabad. The Sabamati's waters are vital to these cities, providing much needed sustenance for agriculture and industry. Its banks, steeped in history, have witnessed the rise and fall of empires, becoming a symbol of the region's rich past. The Sabamati is more than just a river, it's a lifeline for the people of Gujarat. Scene script. Next, we turn our attention to the Narmada, Tapi and Mahi rivers. The Narmada River, also known as Lifeline of Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh, originates from the Amakantak Plateau in Madhya Pradesh and flows westwards over a length of about 1300 kilometers before meeting the Arabian Sea. Not only does it provide water for drinking and irrigation, but it's also a major source of hydroelectric power. Moving on, the Tapi River originates from the Satpura Range in Madhya Pradesh, stretching nearly 725 kilometers and is notably one of India's major rivers that flows in a rift valley. It is a crucial resource for several cities along its course, offering water for both irrigation and power generation. Lastly, we have the Mahi River, which originates in Madhya Pradesh and runs about 565 kilometers. It's known for its potential in irrigation and hydroelectric power, and also for the famous Mahi Bajaj Sagar Dam. These rivers play a crucial role in Gujarat's economy and everyday life. So, what have we learned about Gujarat's rivers? We've journeyed through the vibrant landscapes of Gujarat, tracing the paths of its major rivers, the Sabarmati, Narmada, Tapi and Mahi. Each of these waterways has a unique story to tell, steeped in history, culture and the livelihoods of countless individuals. The Sabamati River, with its serene flow, plays a crucial role in the state's agriculture and supports a diverse array of wildlife. The mighty Namada, Tapi and Mahi Rivers, too, are indispensable to Gujarat's flourishing industries and bustling tourism sector. They not only provide life-giving water, but also contribute significantly to the state's economy and cultural heritage. In essence, these rivers are the lifeblood of Gujarat, the veins that keep the state's heart beating. Their importance cannot be overstated. They are the lifeline, the pulse, the rhythm of Gujarat. Gujarat's rivers are not just bodies of water. They are the veins that keep the state's heart beating. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious about the world around you.